Hi, I'm Jeff Sadler, and we're here today at the courts for the photo shoot for the 31st annual Ozarks Basketball Preview. I've got two cover selections here with me today from the Glendale Falcons, Monty Joe Hall, and we also have Jordan Walton. Boys, congratulations. I'm glad you're here. Thank you. We're happy to be here. Yeah, thank you, sir. Oh, you're quite welcome. Now, Gosh, you guys had a great year last year. You went 20 and 7 overall and were 8 and 1 in the conference, finishing second to to a, a very very good Kickapoo team. Talk a little bit about how that season went. Um overall it went really well, you know. We had a couple of bumps in the road, but you know, we're just going to come back even stronger this year, so I'm looking forward to that. Now, I saw I saw a game that that you guys played at uh the blue and gold. Tell me how the blue and gold went last year. Uh, the blue and gold was really good. I think we really came together as a team, and it's where we started to hit our stride in the season. Uh, we didn't win the championship against Republic, but I feel like that's where we got our, in our groove for the last season. Really did. It looked like you guys in that game came really in the tournament, so to speak, came together. Um, have you guys been out on the AAU circuit, Jordan? Uh, yeah, we've been on the AAU circuit with Yanders Law um, this summer and last spring. Um, it was a good experience. We're betting into a lot of top talent in the country, and we were able to um, get some exposure. Now, Monty, were you on the Yanders Law team as well? Yes, sir. How did? Uh, how many games did you guys play? Uh, I mean, we probably played like 30 to 40, and, you know, it was really tiring, but it was a great experience. Have you um – did you did you get together with the team? Did the Falcons go to any team camps or shootouts? Yeah, this summer we went down to Los Angeles for the LMU team camp. We went to Dexter, Missouri. We went to the Missouri State team camp, and then we went to a team camp at the Fieldhouse. Wow, what was that trip to L.A. like? Oh, man, it was exciting. Uh, we got to see a lot of things like, you know, the Hollywood sign, UCLA's campus, uh, LMU's campus, obviously. Um, it was fun. We got to play a lot of different teams. We got to play Run Our Test Sun, so that was kind of cool. But, yeah, it was pretty fun. Did you get in Poly Pavilion? No, we didn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been quite a treat. Now, is that something that you just have done for the first time this year? Um, two, two years ago, our sophomore year, we went to Florida for a team camp. I think it was, like, Western Florida, um, their team camp that we went to. Um, we, we obviously went to Miami last year for a tournament during the season, the Cruel Classic, so that was cool. Yeah, we've traveled a lot um, just trying to, you know, get us prepared to play better teams. Monty, you are the all-time leading scorer in Glendale history, and it looks like that you could own the city scoring record this year as well. Have you, uh, have you thought much about that? Um, not really. You know, my main goal is to win, and all the accolades that come with it is just a blessing. And, I mean, with the, with the scoring, you know, if it weren't for my teammates, I couldn't have done it without them. You know, they're a big part of the scoring because, I mean, they take sacrifices to give me the ball every single game for ever since I came to Glendale. Now, have you, have you guys ever been referred to as the dynamic duo? Have you heard that? I mean, yeah. Um, Really, ever since we've got to Glendale, it's kind of a thing. Our teammates call us the era. Shout out to them. But um, they, they, call, they call you what? The era. But, you know. The I era. Mean, yeah, no. But, yeah, I mean, yeah, seriously. I mean, we've played together, you know, for a while, you know, so it kind of just comes with the territory. But we just keep working hard. You guys put up a monster stat line. Monty, 27.6 a game. Jordan, 22.7. Boards, uh, Five eight and two nine assists two seven and four three, you guys put up a monster stat line. It it's got to be it's got to be tough on uh, backcourts trying to cover you. Do you do you see uh, special defenses running at you, uh, triangle and twos or or any type of of uh, special quirk defenses? Yeah, I mean we've hit, we've been hit with the triangle and two a lot, box and ones, just anything to try and stop us. But luckily we have a lot of other teammates that can just shoot phenomenally and I mean when they're guarding us pretty well we can always count on them. Is there um, any one game you really look forward to on the schedule Jordan? Uh, Kickapoo for sure every year you know we haven't beat them yet so we since we've been at Glendale so this is the year you know where we're going to go out there and try and do our best to come out with the W. How about you Monty? 
Uh, tournament of champions for sure. You know, whoever we play is going to be a great team, and just the competition will be unbelievable. And since we've ever never played in the tournament of champions before, you know, I'm just really looking forward to that. I feel the experience. You guys have uh, have only one season left. Have have you set some goals for the year? Um, yeah, we'll start out small. You know, win the conference. You know, then we'll go. You know, win districts. When sectionals get to quarters and hopefully get to state, I'd say states are bit our main goal. But you know, to begin with, we just want to try and win the conference, one step at a time, eh? What about you, Monty? The same thing as Jordan. You know, take it slowly. You know, focus on us as a team and just one game at a time. If uh, if you could look back on last season, would there would there have been anything that you'd have done different? Um, I think that we all need to buy into our system a little bit more. Um, I think I think we we play together really well as a team, and our chemistry is great. But I think that if we just kind of lock in more during the season, I think we'll be a lot better. What about you, Monty? Just the same thing as Jordan. You know, just um, being focused and locked in before every single game, coming together more, and you know, just our chemistry is already great. But just buying into the system, like Jordan said. You want to give a, a shout out to anybody? Uh, man, shout out Kendrick Perkins. <laughs> He's my role model. And, you know, uh, shout out, uh, who should I shout out? Shout out my dad. You know, he's been taking me to every single game ever since I started playing basketball. So, you know, he's been a big, big part of basketball for me. Shout out to him. Jordan? Uh, shout out my family. Uh, shout out G Free. Shout out um, Kodak and shout out Lonzo for shutting up the haters last night. <laughs> all right, yeah, we can all we all see that. Okay, so um, you guys have both been bestowed a lot of accolades, but tell me what uh, what does it mean to be selected to you for the uh, cover of the Ozarks basketball preview? Man, it's great. You know, as a kid, I'd always look at the magazine and oh, I'd always be excited to see. To see who's on it as a kid and like now that I got selected for it's just honestly a blessing and I'm happy to be on it. Now both of you were selected in our Magnificent Elevens feature last year and and typically about 50 percent of our kids from uh, the, the year previous make it to the cover this year it was 75 percent so Jordan uh, What's it mean to you to be on the cover? Um, it means a lot to me, a lot to me to be on the cover. Um, I think it's cool to just be on the cover of a magazine. Personally, you know, just the cool factor about it. Um, I think, I don't know. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> All right. Well, we sure appreciate both of you taking the time to come down today and being cool and being on the cover <laughs> of the uh, 31st Annual Ozarks Basketball Preview uh, for Monty Joe Hall. And for my man Jordan Walton here, I'm Jeff Sadler with the Ozarks Basketball Preview.